Alright guys, welcome back. It's JDogs here. We are back here on the Attack of the B-Team, a little uh, shared server that me and Wish are playing on. And she's currently up collecting some sand uh, for some projects we're going to be doing today. Shovel broke. Uh oh, your shovel broke. Yep. Okay, I'll have to repair it here in a few. Um, so we are going through, and as you can see, we've been cooking up some different things here. We've got molten iron, molten gold, molten lead, which we're going to be using today. And also some molten steel, which again, we're going to be using some of that today. Um, you will notice, and I'm about to go drop this back off to Wish, I've made her a nice fortune pick here. Since she's been doing tons of mining, I've made this up for her. And I'm going to go over real quick here in a minute how I made this. Uh, but basically, I added some things on here. Uh, it's a steel pick to start out with. And I added, which made it reinforced too. Uh, I added auto repair, haste, and luck, which gives it fortune three. Uh, and then I also added the extra slot to it to where you can go ahead and uh, add a fourth thing. But I don't know what I want to add yet. So if you guys have any suggestions, leave it down in the comment section below. Uh, and let me know what you think I should add as the final thing on here. It's pretty quick already. has really good fortune on it. Um... So what's something, I don't want it to auto smelt because we have our uh, thing here and we get twice as much as if we uh, uh, were smelting. Uh, I'm going to get in bat form here real quick so I can go drop this off to Wish. Um, but I want to make sure that uh, we cook all of our ores in here. And as you can see it's getting pretty full already so we're going to have to lay off on <laughs> melting some things down and start uh, making blocks out of it. Let's see if we can find Wish here. I know she was, there she is. Uh, you missed a few blocks back there, by the way, that are floating on the ground. Okay. So there's your pick. It's right next to you. You got it? Yep. Okay. So today we're going to be making um, some tools for me and Wish, because as you can see, I'm still using some basic tools. Uh, I've got some iron-made um, Tinker's Construct stuff, but I want to make steel for the both of us, because as you can see, these here are only reinforced one, and they're stone-bound, which means they can be re repaired with iron. Or, well, that's not what stonebound means, but that's what, what we can do with them. Oh, a little bit of lag spike. Um, so I want to show you guys some of the stuff I've been working on. First of all, for Tinker's Construct, uh, I'm just going to lightly go over it. I'm assuming you guys pretty much know how to do Tinker's Construct. Uh, but basically, you make a stencil table first. You put a blank pattern in here, which is uh, sticks and planks. Um, and then you choose which pattern you want it to be. Uh, and pretty much you just get one of each that you that you do up. Uh, you can see that we've had these pattern chests here. Uh, this was a bunch that we found here in the village. And these here are some of the ones we found in the village, plus all the ones we didn't find. Uh, so now I have one of each pattern. Well, the patterns will never get used up. Um, and then if you make this little part builder table, you can uh, make your little uh, pieces straight from this. So you can see material cost... Uh, is different on some of these. Most of them cost one, some cost eight, uh, some of them say like 0.5, but basically what you do is you take your pattern, you place it here, so this is like a tool rod, and then you place whatever it is you want to make it out of, so for this instance it's going to be cobble. Oh, sorry, if we place these down here, I believe. No? Tool rod, pad. oh, it's, uh, we got to cook this up in order to use that. So, but anyways, you just place your items here, um, better example. If we wanted to make a tool rod that was uh, wooden, you can see here it makes a wooden tool rod and a stick, which again you can put right back in here and make a second tool rod out of it. Um, and so you make your, that's how you make your items. Uh, same thing with some of these other things, uh, but usually I use gold to make them. So I will show you guys real quick what I have done, which it's not in there, not in there. It's in this one. Okay, so, um, basically what happens is they make these little things here. Um, I made mine out of stone, so you can see we've got stone pieces here that we had originally. And you take your little piece, and I'm just going to show you with one of them. So say, for instance, the axe head for Wish that I made. Um, you come back out to the table here, and you right-click right here. And then whatever you have set, have it set to, and I use the gold, of course, so we click on the gold. Um, so if I right-click to this right now, which I'm not going to because I already have one, uh, but if I were to right-click this right now, it would give me um, one of these gold plates that I have in here that are right here. 
uh, and it also gives you back the pickaxe head. So I turned around and I made up uh, just the main ones for now, shovel, axe, and uh, the tool binding which you need for a pick, and then the pickaxe head. Um, so I'm going to take, let's see, we've got stone pieces. I need actually to m take each one of these out. And this part I saved so I could show you guys. Uh, we're going to get out here and we need to select our molten steel. Which the way you get steel is just by getting iron. So we, we got some iron blocks out of here. And then we take the iron we cook them in the, the furnaces here. And that turns it into steel. And then I just take the ingots and put them right back in here. And it turns them into liquid. Um, but we're going to need... Let's see. We're probably going to need quite a few of these because I've got to make myself three pieces and wish two more pieces so we need five total of the uh, the stick pieces here for the handles so we're just gonna click and see we went ahead and got one now since I don't want to take the casting out yet um, and I want another stick we're just gonna leave it there normally we would right click and take it out um, but we're gonna go ahead and click that each time that it goes solid as you can see that's when we can right click it and take it out of there we need two more. So last one. Okay, so now we can right click the table and take that out of there. Um, next is going to be the pickaxe head. And then we can do some of these other ones also. So I'm going to take and put that one in there. Now I only need one of these because Wish already has a pick. So I'm going to get that and take that. We're going to put the shovel. Let's go ahead and get all these on the hot bar here. Okay, so we need an axe. We're going to need two of these. So we want to do one more. Okay, we can take that guy out. Or no. Yeah, that was the axe head. I don't know why I moved the shovel one. Um, we need one of the, the, the binding here because that's the one that you use for the pickaxe. So we're going to make one of those. And I know there's cheaper things that we can make these out of, but I figured we, we have the stuff to make it out of these. Um, I might as well because it gives it that reinforced too. So we've got one and two. Okay, so now that we have all of our pieces, we can go right back inside here. We go to the next table that we're supposed to be using. So we're going to put these back up. Put our tools there. Alright. So the last table here is the tool station. Okay, so we started with the stencil table. Then we went to the uh, part builder table along with our pattern chest. And then last we come over here to the tool station. And as you can see in here, they have several different tools that you can select from. So first we're going to be making a pick. And it even shows you the different things that you're going to need. So we're going to stick our tool rod in there, our pickaxe head, and our steel binding. And so that's just going to give us the basic pickaxe, that's steel, with reinforced two. And you can see over here it says durability, mining speed. Mining speed is what I really like because it has an eight on there. Um, it's the highest you can get, so you can mine anything with this. Um, and then it says modifiers remaining three. So we're going to go ahead and make one of those. And you can hear the little sound it makes. Uh, I could have named that up here in the top also. Uh, we will probably name it later when I figure out what I want to name it. Um, so now we're going to go to the shovel. We're going to put two in there. And we're going to get two of the shovels. And then we're going to go to the pit or the axe. And we're going to get two of the hatchets is what they call them. But they're an axe. Um... So now, in order to be able to put the different enchantments on here, um, basically we have a few things that we need to make. Uh, first off, we need some mossy cobble, because that the, uh, the mossy enchantment that you saw on Wishes that was auto repair, I want it on all of our tools. Um, in or order to do that, you either need a piece of moss, which I'll show you here. We'll look up moss. Do, 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 do. Oh, hit enter. There we go. Um, let's see. It's the moss here from Biomes of Plenty. Uh, you can get that off of trees 
or uh, we can go to this one that says balls of moss for tinkers construct now that's kind of what we need uh, and you can make that from any type of mossy block uh, the easiest one in my opinion is the mossy cobble which you can make either from the moss from the trees plus a, a cobblestone block or you can take regular cobblestone with a bucket in the center and it will make moss stone which you need nine of these to make one piece of moss which it takes one piece of moss to make repairing or to put uh, the repairing enchant onto that so what we're gonna do is we're I'm gonna show you guys uh, the last little bit I was already making a few of them up so we're gonna go ahead and kinda click this here and on a good note it does not use up uh, the bucket itself just the water in it so you can see there that I'm using this here making up a few of these I'm gonna go do this once more and I've just been using this water source outside temporarily okay so we're gonna round this out again and I know if I had more buckets I could make more of these at once uh, but this will probably be the last set we do even though I have a little bit more to make okay so if we need more we can always come back and get it later so now we just take this put it in all the blocks and that's going to give us seven pieces now we only actually need the five for these here uh, so I'm just going to make five for now one two three four and five and then the rest I'll save till later uh, just in case we need them uh, for something else or whatever uh, but I'm going to come over here and all you got to do you don't have to enchant it you don't have to do anything special uh, you just take the item itself and if we were repairing it we would click on this but also to add things to it um, you can put it right back in there you put that little piece on it and you'll see it says moss over in the side here and it says modifiers remaining two so that's a modifier that we put onto it and it gives it auto repair uh, basically what it does is it repairs this automatically but you can also uh, repair it normally I believe um, and then again here we could name it something if we wanted to um, I did something wrong. What did you do wrong? Look. Well, hold on. I, let me finish explaining this real quick and I'll look. Um, but basically, as long as you have it in your hand, it'll start repairing itself uh, once it's started being used. And um, so that's that's really good to, to have on the pick. So we're going to go ahead and click that. It makes it a little bit of a green color. What did you do? Hang on. I'm trying to figure it out. Oh, okay, so she's she's over here. She's messing with some stuff. Um, basically, we've, we've been kind of doing things together, but at the same note, she's just going around and, and figuring some things out. So uh, normally when I when I want her to help with a little project or something, we do some stuff together. Um, but if, if she just wants to fiddle around for the day, I just kind of let her play and, and enjoy herself. So, um, so we're going to put the same moss enchantment on all these. So we're going to have some green tools to look at. Uh, there and there and I may be doing this wrong but this is this is what I've gotten out of out of this because to me I don't know why you wouldn't want to have the auto repair on anything um, so I put it on on all the stuff now um, if we wanted fortune on any of this which since she has a fortune pick I'm probably gonna do silk touch on mine um, just in case we need some type of silk touch because I know we can get glowstone in the nether uh, and different things like that by having silk touch um, either on our pick or something else so on these I want to just focus on um, speed and you know how fast they can mine and, and what they can mine and or you know whatever um, and real quick I want to show you <laughs> she's been making some lamps here and uh, yeah she has a, she has a field day with these things and they look cool so I told her she, we're going to be doing some building around here probably within the next couple episodes and she's going to be working on uh, our main storage place here so she's been having a field day with that um, she's going to put them all over the place now so what I'm doing here is uh, first off I'm going to show you guys some of the stuff we got from the nether um, so here's a few things I made a second trip back to the nether uh, I'm trying to see where all the stuff is that I left. I've kind of added more chests, as you can see here. This is now our food chest. 
We've got tons of ores that uh, Wish has been out getting all kinds of stuff uh, for us. And the block of redstone here, you, you're going to see here in a moment, where it's going to come into play. Um, I'm trying to find, where did I leave all that stuff at? That's our wood. Oh, that's one of the things I can show you here in a second. Yeah, here's some of the stuff. So, like, a ghastly soul chunk of flesh, which you can make blocks and different things out of. I found wither wart. I also found nether wart. I don't know what the wither wart is for, but we'll look look that up real quick. Let's see what that's for. Uh, I hit you on it. It doesn't show me anything. Um, but we have glow shrooms, blue glow shrooms, green glow shrooms, purple glow shrooms. Uh, I found some blood saplings. That's uh, those trees that grow upside down. That's what they were. Um, I found some flame string when I killed some of the spiders that were there. Uh, we also got some potash apples. Says it tastes a bit like chalk. Uh, we got those from the ghost trees, uh, which we're also growing in the tree farm now over there. Um, I got a magma cream. I got several things over there. Let's see. And then we also got some of the bloodwood. And this is also bloodwood, but it's what it looks like if it's not on the outside. Uh, then you can see we've got ghost wood here. I've also found pine trees. So we've got pine wood. And um, so we've got pine tree saplings and stuff like that growing out there. But the next thing I want to get to, um, Hun, if you're ready, she's been waiting all day to be able to make these guys. I'm going to get her a diamond and myself a diamond. Give me a minute. Okay. She needs a minute. What you doing? I'm decorating. Oh, you're decorating. Uh, oh. Still my lamp. Whoops. Give it back. There's Give your lamp. Back. There's your redstone. I'll leave. I'll leave. I won't mess with your stuff. Okay. Uh, so she's <laughs> having a field day. Uh, we're going to go ahead and I think I'm going to start adding some more enchants. So I'm going to show you guys the book here real quick. Um, it's the Materials in You Red Book. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, you're ready now? Okay. Uh, we're going to be making, real quick, I'll put this aside. <laughs> we are making what she calls the Munch Munch Bags, uh, also known as suitcases. They're these little dudes, and, and when I first found out about these, I just went nuts. I love them. I think they're the coolest thing in the world. Um, so here's a diamond for you, hon, because you're going to need that. And we're going to look up the recipe real quick. Suit. And that should give us... Oh, luggage. She's right. How do you spell luggage? L-U-G, and then it should come up. Okay, so we need a, a diamond, a bunch of sticks, and a chest. So i need, I got to get some chest. We have some extras here. So I'll toss one to Wish. Wish needs two. Oh, you want two of the guys? Yes, I want two, Munch Munch. Okay, 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 okay. So she's going to need another diamond. Um, so there you go for that. And there's some chest for you. So all you do is we're going to make some sticks here. And you put sticks all the way around. Get my chest. Uh, it should be right next to you then. Move around a little. Um, you put sticks all the way around except for the top. Then in the top center you put a diamond. And in the very center you, you put a chest. chest. Mm, no? Okay, let me make mine real quick. No, check your inventory. Oh, there it is. Now, mine must be lagging. <laughs> okay, so we've made these little guys, and I'm going to show you guys what these look like real quick while no, she's in here. I put mine down. Oh, okay. <laughs> i got to wait for her. Um, but later on, we can actually name these, I found out. You can give them names. Uh, and if we find a way to strike them with lightning, they double in size and change colors. So later on, we're going to be working on trying to find that. <laughs> um, well, you can you can strike them manually by doing a few different ways of trying to strike them with lightning, um, or you can just leave them be and, and use them as they are. And I'm gonna teach mine to strike you back. <laughs> I don't think I don't actually think you can make them hit back. Uh, I don't believe so, anyways. Um, but one of the things I want to cover on this episode, guys. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> so you guys can see they've got little feet on them, and they'll follow you around. I'm going to go out here so hers doesn't eat mine when I put it down. But as you can see, 
there's these little guys, and if I throw out, say, like a piece of meat, <laughs> you hear them? You guys hear them? Nom, 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 nom. And uh, if you right-click on them, you can actually get inside and see what they've got um, and, and take your stuff out. If you hold shift, no, just move around a little further. If you hold shift and click, you can actually pick them up and carry them around, which is pretty cool. Just move way out here, hon. It should come out to you. Just keep going, going out toward the fence. Let me see if I can see him. Now, he's in here. There, he should have just warped to you. There he is. Yeah. Bad munch munch. <laughs> so if you, if you hold shift and right click, you can pop them off and actually carry them around with all the stuff in them. Uh, and so it makes for having tons and tons of extra storage. Um, personally, I love having extra storage. So we're going to keep that guy on the side there. Uh, and what I want to do, what I was going to show you guys, is in this little book here, it actually tells you the different modifiers all the way towards the end here. Great. Yeah, so here we go. So first you can put a diamond on it, okay, and that makes it more durable, which I'm not too worried about for being durable. We might do that uh, because it makes it break less, I guess you can say. Um, but And it increases the mining level, which we're not too worried about because of we're, we've already got mining level 8. Um, this one makes it 50% more durable. This one makes it 500 uh, extra durability. So I don't know what the difference is between the 500 or 50 percent um I'm, I'm not sure if you guys know let me know um but i know they don't stack so it's only a one one type thing um and then we can add speed to it which i'm going to do to all of these which is the redstone and then if we already did the auto repair you can add auto smelt which i don't want to do um although i might make a sh extra shovel with auto smelt on it because that would be really good for glass I may actually do that um, and then this shows how shows you how to make the moss and the lava crystal uh, which is for the auto smelt um, this here puts luck on whatever you're doing so it will add fortune um, to any type of tool or looting to any type of weapon um, well, not any type of weapon. Uh, I believe it's just swords or whatever. Or, well, it depends on tool type, like it says right here. Um, increases level of maximum threshold, but has a chance of increasing before. Sometimes adds extra luck to the tool. Not compatible with silky. So you can't use this if you're using the silk touch one, which is uh, this one here. You have to have this little glob of thing here. And it adds silk touch... Um, and then if you put it on a scythe, it acts as shears on blocks, and it's not compatible with luck or auto smelt. And then this here shows how to make the, the silky jewel. Uh, you can also put reinforced on it by using an obsidian plate. Um, that's also a pretty good one, too, from what I understand. And then those are all for weapons. And this one here you can add for flux where it uses uh, redstone energy, I believe. And then this one here is the one we've already done for wishes once. And that was to add a diamond and a block of gold. And that adds um, an additional modifier. And then I'm not sure what the nether star adds. It says it adds something special, but I'm not sure. Um, so I'm going to go through real quick and I'm going to add redstone to all of these. And uh, make them really nice and fast. And then... I don't know, we may add something else to it for, like, unbreaking, and that I believe that was the, uh, what, what was that? I know that was, click through here real quick, uh, yeah, so the durability is either an emerald or diamonds. So we're probably going to do diamonds since we have tons of diamonds, uh, and increase the durability and then use the redstone to increase the speed. So that's basically unbreaking and um, efficiency. So I think we're going to max it out on that and then have the uh, the moss on it. And that's going to be it for all the tools. And then mine, I may put Silk Touch on. I haven't de decided yet. I might just wait on it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick, guys. Uh, and then we'll be back in a moment. I have a few things I want to work on. I don't think I'm going to get everything I wanted to do today done. But we're going to come back and we're going to at least start on making... Uh, some basic energy. So, we'll be right back. 
Okay guys, welcome back, and we're back, and I've made up a few things, and I want to share something with you that I just found out about this. Um, putting all these liquids in here together, I just realized you want to empty them out as often as possible, because you can see now that I'm hovering over this, it says we've got copper, bronze, iron, lead, and steel. Well, um, I also ended up with some other things, whoop, a little bit of lag there, uh, ended up with some other things by leaving all the liquids in there together. Uh, which I did not realize, but fortunately I needed some of them, uh, and that was copper, tin, some of these I've, I had, but we also ended up with uh, electrum, which I didn't even realize that I could make, um, and then I also ended up with, I think it was, yeah, bronze here, we ended up with some bronze, so we've got a bunch of stuff here, but as you can see in my inventory, I've made up some things, uh, we're going to put this glass away, I've made up some things because we need a temporary source of power. Uh, and I say temporary only because it's probably not the best way. Um, small sidetrack real quick. If you guys know how to get these ore bushes to grow better, let me know. I know they have to grow on the soul sand. Hold on, let's turn the music down because it's getting kind of loud. Uh, there we go. Um, but I know it has to grow on soul sand, but it's not getting any berries on it. Uh, and I tried put it in, putting it in the dark in here on a piece of soul sand, and it really didn't seem to grow either. Um, or maybe I just didn't leave it in there long enough. So if you, get, you guys know how to get these to grow more, um, I found them in the nether. Do I have to leave them in the nether and go and harvest them from there? Um, what exactly do I have to do with them? One's a skyberry bush, and the other one is a stingberry bush. Um, so there was, those were two things that I found there. Um... But we got the, the stuff made up here. I also found out I accidentally put um, haste on this twice. So be very careful when you're putting the redstone on there because if you're not, you can actually use up two of your modifiers. And you'll see here, I've only put this stuff on and I have no more modifiers. So I'm going to have to add that other one and hopefully we can maybe add more than add it more than just one time if not uh, then this is just going to be a auto repair haste and then we'll have um, the unbreaking on it also and that'll be all we have on this and then I'll have to make another one that will have silk touch um, but we also got our axe done here which I did auto repair haste and durability and same thing with our shovel um, but back to what I was saying uh, we need a temporary source of power because I want to get some machines hooked up uh, and this is the easiest way to do it. It's uh, just a little water source that you can set up. You take an Oculus accumulator, I think that's how you say it. You stick that in there and you have it facing up. And you can see that it's sucking up the water. And now it's full of water and it's going to keep keep redoing that over and over again since it's an infinite water source. Um, and I don't remember what you set this to. I think you leave it there. Um, and then you can configure where you want the power to go out to. Um, I believe orange is out and blue is in. Um, and so it's already sucking up the water, so we know that's fine. And then what we want to do is we want to take this steam dynamo, uh, and we want to place it right up on top here. And that's going to start to fill with water. And you can see it's going to pump out energy, but we need steam. Well you need something here in order to create steam temporarily just to show you guys I'm gonna be using some charcoal uh, but I think lava works too and if it does then we're gonna go ahead and put some lava in here um, eventually but I'm gonna go ahead and put a piece of that and you can see it's created some steam and now it's powering up saving up some power you can see it's storing power and so we're gonna take this little leadstone energy cell um, and if you guys need to know how to make these, you can just look them up. Uh, you can see I was just looking up the wrench. But if you hit uh, R over the top of this, oops, R, you can see what it takes to make it. Just basically glass, lead, and a block of redstone. Uh, and then you make this piece with copper and a redstone uh, conduit coil, uh, which is made with that electrum. So it's a good thing that I did make that and some redstone. Uh, and then you just stick this little guy on top. Oh. And it's going to get powered. Whoops. Hold shift. 
Okay, and so you're going to see we need to tell it to have power come in from the bottom. Uh, that's the bottom, I think. No? Is that that the bottom? Or do can we not hook it straight to that? No? Huh, I know it's one of these. I thought it was this one. Do we turn it to there? Hi? No. Let's go back to that and... Hmm. I'm not... I don't remember exactly how this is set up. I'm going to have to take a, take a look at it. And see what we're supposed to set this to, because I don't exactly remember the settings. Let me see. We've got the back on orange. We need the bottom on orange. No, we need the bottom on blue, don't we? I think I said blue is in. No. Okay, so that should energy stored. Why is it losing energy? Is it is this sucking it up? No? Uh oh. Um Odd. Okay, I'm gonna have to look that up. I know there's a way to get this to take the energy, but I forget how. Um but yeah, you can see that we're losing our steam because it has nowhere to go. So unfortunately, uh, one second. Do what? I uh, just get a bunch of them. That'll work for now. Um, but you can see it's losing the power that it's built up because that's the steam and it dissolves over time. I guess. Um, I must have something set wrong here. Yeah, because it's losing the RF that it's storing up. Or did I not get it to go high enough? Let's stick 8 in there. Uh, it stops at 4. Huh. Okay. Oh, there we go. So now it's charging. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Um, so now it's going to charge up, and then what we're going to do is uh, we're going to pick which one of these sides we want it to go out. But for now, this is actually going to just store up the energy, uh, and we won't lose our energy back through here now. So I'm just going to put up a little bit more in there. Um, just that there, I guess. Uh, and it'll just constantly keep sucking the energy out. And so now we can power stuff with this. But like I said, I think we can power it with lava on the bottom here. And if that's the case, then we can just build up a whole bunch of that um, and get that going. But I figured I'd go ahead and get that. And then we've got these pipes, which we can hook wherever we want. So say we wanted to hook it off the side here or whatever um, and run that to our machines. But I'm not going to do that just yet. And then this wrench we made... I believe if you tap this with the wrench, which I'm not going to test it because we're just now getting energy, but I believe if you tap this uh, with the wrench, like right click or single click or something, uh, it'll take the block off but keep the energy with it. So that's a good thing to have too. Um, but I think I covered pretty much everything that I wanted to cover today, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Uh, we had a little bit of a longer video today because there was a lot of things that I wanted to cover and go over. What? Oh, uh, Wish built something over here she wanted me to show you guys. Uh, we'll go into bat form real quick. She says it's her little derpy face she was working on with the uh, the lamps. So let's jump up here. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really late in the morning and, and we're all pretty tired here. So, um, well, early, early in the morning, I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, we've got we've got some power starting up now. Uh, to, to let you guys know, my eventual first goal to do for here, 
um, is going to be to go to the moon and to go to Tropic Craft, um, which is another realm, and some of the other realms, because I, I really want to check those out and, and see what they're like. Um, this is going to eventually go... What? Huh? What? Hi? What? Are you here? <laughs> She's somewhere around here. Um, oh, okay. Um, but I wanted to get some energy going because I know we're going to be needing some different things. Also, I want to turn that into an automatic tree farm uh, so that Wish doesn't have to spend all day chopping trees. Oh, I um, you one. Okay. Um, she to kill you. Oh, yeah, she's got to kill me, but not right now. <laughs> um, but eventually, Wish is going to be uh, helping me, and we're going to be taking this house here down. And we're going to build a nice house. And a lot of this stuff that's just like, you know, these things here, it's going to go down underneath. We're probably going to do some kind of basement. Uh, and we'll make things looking nice up top so where we can just have our our machines up top that have pipes going to them. We'll have some pipes run over that way. Question you guys might be able to answer for me. Um, do these leadstone energy conduits or the redstone ones, whenever you get those, uh, do they lose energy over the distance that you go or can you go as far as you want and they have distance as long as it's loaded um, because I was going to leave the farm over there but I would have to run a lot of conduit over that way if it's not a problem and it's just going to cost me uh, resources then I don't have a problem with that so uh, be sure to let me know and um, we're, gonna, we're definitely going to get a much better source of energy set up um, but I figured we'd just get something basic for now so if you guys have any tips or anything on things that you'd like to see me do, um, I'm really stoked about going to the moon. I've always wanted to check that out. I thought it was cool. And I've never played uh, a mod pack where you can go to the moon. Um, and then I also hear that this place has a, this mod pack has a thing called Paradise. Uh, you can go to Tropic Craft. You can go to uh, all kinds of different things. Uh, I also want to get into messing with uh, making mutants, whatever that is, because I found that stuff in there. Uh, I also want to get into the dinosaurs and all kinds of different stuff. Like, there's there's a bunch of really cool things that I'd like to try. Um, and so I'm really looking forward to doing a lot of the different things. So I will quit yapping for now because I realize that this is probably around a 40, 45 minute episode, something like that. Uh, so I will let you guys go for now. I really hope you're enjoying things. Uh, and I will see you guys next time. Take it easy. Peace out.